What's going on guys? Jurassic here. Today we're playing the demo for Aquatico. This is a deep sea colony simulation. Let's go and hop right on into it. Subsurface colony deep sea nine faction banner. Okay, so it looks like we get several different options here. That looks super cool. So we'll go with you and let's do green for Jurassic acid. Difficulty. We'll keep it as regular. What are the different options? So we got wasteland. Deep Passage. Looks like you have a couple different maps that you can actually pick from. Neptune's Throw. Not available in the current version. All right, so hold on. Which one can we actually do? Yep, the Shallow Reef it is. Choose the location for your people to build the subsurface base. All right, so we can't build buildings occupied, fertile area, crude oil rich area, radioactive area. So I'm guessing we want to find somewhere that has fertile crude oil and rich ore is going to be the main priorities here. So it looks like right where we start, we do have a little bit of like radioactive stuff right around here on the edge, but it has the fertile area. And this looks like it's going to be the crude oil area. So we'll probably just build right here in the middle so we can rotate it around if we want to. So let's see. Can we have it so the door looks out that way? Sort of do something like that. Welcome, Sea Mayor. Leading an underwater colony is great responsibility, but we Atlantis have no doubt you can handle it. Going underwater is our last chance of survival since the asteroid hit and made the surface uninhabitable. Focus on the production of plastics for construction, fuel for heating, and food for our people. The cold wounds recurrence will strike soon. Build a beacon of civilization and give hope to mankind in these hard times. All right, so if you guys haven't played a colony sim before, basically you're going to be micromanaging everything possible inside of your civilization. So you'll have little speed do hickey down here at the bottom where basically you can go super speed to allow things to build quicker, which we'll get to here in a second. So it does have some credits and currencies at the very top of the map here that's going to be teaching us all the fun stuff around here. Food, basics, luxuries, things like that. All this stuff is going to be more important later on. However, the oil, food and water is going to be the main priority here. So obviously we are going to be underneath the water area, which means we can suffocate if we run out of power, which is going to be a terrible disaster. All right. So at the moment, we do have two adult colony and one family. We got 12 drones at least. So hopefully these two people are able to maintain the rest of it. Happiness is at 99. Hey, that's decent. All right. So what do we got down here? Okay, it's the space bar, boom. Speed up, slow down, play. We want to get through this tutorial real quick and then we'll be able to see how to actually do the stuff and things. All right, so use the toolbar to give your drones a specific order here. So it looks like they want us to go into food production and build us up a gathering place. Now, once again, we are right next to all the fertile land here, so we should be able to build basically anywhere to be able to have this going. Now we are going to try to have the door so this makes kind of sense. So we'll place it down right here. All right, so we need 30 sponges. We are going to speed this up some because we should slowly start generating everything that we need to, especially since this tutorial is walking us through everything. Yeah, so right now we got 10 sponges. I believe sponges are going to be the plastics that we use down here on the bottom. I could be wrong on that, though. All right, so that's now built. We have additional panel here. And jobs board. Looks like they have a super cool automatically assigned workforce, so you don't actually have to think about it. However, you could come in here and manually have like specific people on the pub, squid hunters, stuff like that. For now, we're going to keep it on automatically assigned workforce. And let's close out of this. There we are. All right, you can see the efficiency on the hint when you are placing the sponge collector on the seafloor. Search for sponges in the surrounding area and find the best suitable spot. Sponges in the vicinity are marked blue. So we need production building sponge collector. Now, if you move your cursor around here, it actually tells you the work efficiency. So this will get you in the closest spot. If you're having a hard time tracking down where the blue is, we got 125 right next to the base here since we're in a very good area. So we'll just go ahead and place this down here, but we do want to have our door kind of close to everything else. So we'll place it down like that. It'll face our collector over here. That way it'll give the people the least amount of movement that they actually need to, to breathe. All right. So we got an oil platform. Hopefully this is kind of close to us. 
We only have 50% right here, but right next to us is going to be 100%. So this is just right off behind the building. Now let's see here. We'll do something like so. We are going to need some plastics. Hopefully that will generate over time. And we need a fuel refinery. This is going to be complex turn crude oil into fuel. The essentials of heating resources your civilization will require transport via pipelines. All right, so I'm assuming the refinery probably should be kind of close to everything else, but not too close to where it makes too much noise. So we'll do something like you. Certain buildings need to be interconnected via combined pipe system to be able to work. Pipelines are used to transport crude oil, fuel, electricity, and oxygen around your underwater colony. Okay. That'll be infrastructure pipeline. Come to system that connects sources of blah, 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 since we've already read that. Now then, what would be the most efficient way to connect to you guys? Probably right here on the corner, right? So you can click and drag. There is going to be a certain length that caps out, so you can only do 50 at a time. Now let's see how forgiving this system is. Like if we click right here, for example. Okay, so it does automatically pick up. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It'll be a little bit adjacent to the door. That way people can walk in and out without being blocked. Soon you'll need a plastic factory, which requires sponges, among other resources to be constructed. If it's a good time to boost your sponge production. Click here to move the camera to the sponge collector. Okay, so production boost. Get that into the next phase. Plastic factory uses sponges harvested to produce plastics, a crucial material used for constructing various structures. Okay. So you know what? Let's just turn on all the boosts then. And let's see here. Production building. Okay. So it wants us to make a plastic factory. Hold on. Let's escape out of that real quick. There we go. Now, once again, we sort of have a whole bunch of industrial stuff and things here. Where would you want a plastic factory, though? I feel like we kind of want to keep everything somewhat in the same area, but where it's not too much noise pollution if we do decide to start building people. So let's try to do like the furthest possible way out here, because there's no point in putting houses right on the edge. So we'll slap you down. Plus, if we need like oxygen or any temperature differences, we'll be able to get these guys much warmer. All right, so that'll build in a second here. Unable to change construction priority during the tutorial. So this is going to also need a pipeline. So let's swap over to infrastructure. Now, can I connect to you to this deal? All right, so got you. Then can I have multiple pipeline connection sockets? So the building can't, but can I actually connect into like the pipeline itself? Uh, let's see here. You there. Bam. There we go. So the building itself can only have one main connection, but the pipelines can interconnect to each other all around the map to be able to deliver all the power needs. All right. Some materials can be found in a scavenged and immediately surrounding areas. Plastic, iron and stone together them into a bell or to open up the clear building resources and select the gather stone, iron, or plastic option. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we went demolition, gather stone. Okay, so it doesn't, it's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Can we like zoom in some? You can see a little bit of an area on where we're going. So we just sort of click and drag and our guys should automatically do that. There we go. So you just highlight it all. It'd be nice if that box was a little bit more open. Maybe that will be changed by the time the game comes out. Now let's see here. So we've got a research tree going on here. So tidal turbine costs five days. Might as well. Houses and civic buildings can only be built inside well pressured hubs called domes, which can sustain a normal everyday life. Okay, so obviously we need a whole bunch of domes around here. Whoa. Now 
That looks gigantic for something that's labeled as small. We'll place it down over this way. I think this is basically going to be where we can build a colony, and I feel like this over here and this side will be a little bit less from the noise pollution, so we'll do it over here. Okay. So we still got it on full speed, so we're going good to go. We got the different grid colors here, so that's nice so you can talk all that stuff on and off. There's actual stocks in the game, too. Huh. Okay, the dome view. Select and place two houses inside your dome. All right, so hold on. So we need you housing house one. Now, let's see. We don't want to waste space, so I feel like there and like there. Bam. All right, so open up the research. We need oxygen generator. Makes sense. Battery factory is probably going to be the next one that's going to be important. Press tab to talk at the ground view and dome view. That's cool. I like that. Okay, so the dome is basically just going to be this gigantic tower. Once again, it needs connected to the rest of the world. So hold on. Construction pipeline. I love how forgiving the pipeline is around here, though. That is a super cool feature. Uh, let's see. So we'll do you. What are that? All right, so we should have the two of those up and running. Production, we need to have a tidal turbine. Let's see here. Where would we actually want it, though? On the seabed. So I'm guessing that means you want it outside of the dome. Like right behind our building, I think. That sort of makes sense. There we go. Put it right here in the corner, away from the dome, but close enough to where we can just run a pipeline across if we need to. Obviously, this whole area is going to look very spider webby with all the pipes running everywhere, but this is going to be essential for us to actually breathe. We do need oxygen because we have minus 10 right now. Let's see here. So we need this on the seabed. So once again, we'll place you. And I want it over here in the corner. All right. So we need to have our pipelines connected. So you. Let's run you out something like two. Kind of close to the main building, but not super close. And we can make like a little pitchfork right here. So I think that'll look aesthetically the best. Yeah, something like so. And let's see here. So we need to do it when it's not the entry point. So you go there. Messed up a little bit, but all right. We got everything connected. Hopefully there's like a demolition feature that we just haven't found yet. This clear building. So it'd be nice if I could... Demolish pipeline. Oh, there we go. I like that. That's super nice. All you gotta do is click on it. Uh, let's see here. Looks like you do need to have the base actually selected though. So we click that. It'll automatically trim it up. That way you don't have a whole bunch of like weird random connections everywhere. All right. So connect the dome title to her generator and the fuel refinery with a single pipeline system. I think we did that. Missing fuel and oxygen. Everything's connected though. Is it because I did it too early? Oh, right here, didn't connect. Ah, now I see what the issue is. So boom, there we go. Oh, is it not connected right here maybe? There we go. <laughs> Make sure to zoom in on all your little connections there because you might accidentally have one missed. Now, one thing that's super cool that we are going to go over real quick is if you click on like the clear building and for example, demolish pipeline, you can select a huge giant area like so, and it'll delete everything. But we do need to go back and put that together. So we'll just slap you on here like so. But if you guys are trying to clear out a super big area like that, that would be the quickest way. All right, drones use batteries. If you run out of batteries, your drones will not be able to fulfill their task. 
All right, so we need a battery factory. Our plants can break down from time to time. When that happens, be sure to repair leaking sockets so your buildings can continue with production. And quickly sect the broken pipeline sockets by left clicking on the notification. Okay, so we got a broken pipe. Thought that would bring us somewhere else. There we go. All right, so you. But I don't see how to repair. All right, so maybe the repair is just replaced right now, or it's going to be replaced for today at least. Bam. I uh, hope I didn't just break the tutorial by doing that, but. I don't know what they were getting at. Once again, this is a demo, so unfortunately we can't get past through the tutorial area. So it looks like that might be it. However, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And I will definitely be checking this game out when it gets a little bit more updates on it. <laughs>